Hello friends, so as you can tell from the intro of the video, uh, we're at Hollow Scream. We're at Hollow Scream Tampa, it is the opening night. Ooh. Feels like it was just, yeah, feels like it was just yesterday. Not really, it's been forever. Excited to be here. A lot of new stuff. Um, only one new house, but there's a bunch of new entertainment. There's a new show that's replacing themes. I'm not sure if we will watch that um, tonight though. There's only one showing, so I guess it kind of just depends on where we're at in the park around that time. Uh, there's a cool place called Raveyard that I want to check out, um, which sounds pretty interesting. And then there's Scarioke, the Rolling Bones, and of course, D.H. Bagum's Circus of Fear, which is the brand new house, Woo! which <laughs> which I'm probably going to do last. So you gotta stay to the end of the video to watch it. Then again, that might change, who knows. But before we get into the event, Let's go check out some of the merch, because there's some pretty cool merch this season that I'm probably going to spend a lot of money on. So, before the event starts, we're here a little bit early. We're going to go check out the merch. So, let's do it. Right as you walk in, they have this cool little uh, facade. The Rotting Pig Speakeasy. <laughs> yeah, I know, they haven't switched their uh, HOS music over yet. This right here, this baseball tee, though. I want to buy this so bad. It's so cool. How much? Ugh. I don't know about that. I mean, I like it, but that's a <laughs> that's got kind, of, kind of a lot of money. I do get a discount on it though, but it also looks like it feels hot. It does feel They have the fans again too. I don't know if you guys have seen these fans. They're like uh. I forgot what the name of them are, but they like fan out, and like this one's like a Ouija. We have one of those at home. That one says Hollow Scream. I think this is just a pumpkin. Yeah. And of course, candy corn. I still have pens that you can get, some from old houses. And this is this season's shirt. I really like this shirt, actually. It's one of the nicest ones that I've seen in quite some time. It's got like the name of all the houses on it. And it's the facade of what I believe is Stranglewood Estate. Or like a version of it. How much is this? Let's see. This is not that bad. 36. Much better. Bucket hat. I like it. I think they had this last year. Also not too bad. Alright, let's check out the inside of the gift shop. Sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> They always decorate this room. This guy's always in here, I feel like. This one is really cute, though. Yeah, this is my favorite shirt here. I want this so bad. Honestly, I might get this like tonight and then the baseball jersey at another time. Look at this bag. Oh, I'm being summoned. What? Oh, it's cool. It's a holographic. Is it holographic? It is holographic. That's cool. And it's got a mini. So cute. Oh, I can't see because of the glare. There we go. I also like this rose. Look, they have one that's white with Ooh, it's white with I like that. <laughs> they have all sorts of different backpacks, too. <laughs> These are some of the cup options that you can get. These are the bougie cups. Oh, okay. I think I think I like this one the most. That's the one. Of course, they still have this style too. This is what they had last year. They really love this like melted paint, skull, neon look. I think they've had this for a few years now. Like one or two. Definitely one, obviously, but also check this shirt out. This is cool. It's got a, like a hall screen and it says all the uh, parks at the events at. Orlando, San Antonio, San Diego, Tampa Bay, Williamsburg. I like it. Oh, that's the back. Oh, oh no. I messed up. This is the front. Little ticket. This is the back of it. I kind of wish this was on the front, to be honest. 
Either way, I like. All right, so I, know, I just noticed something. All right, the name of this was the Rotting Pig Speakeasy, right? There's like some, some drums right here. And on this is a date. This is Friday, October 13th, 7.30. What if there just happens to be a speakeasy here on that day? Like just, just like what if? That'd be really cool. If not, they should do it. It's a great idea. All right, the event's about Something to start like soon, but look who I found. Our hot What's friends. What's up, everybody? Hot scene. Like and subscribe right here. Yeah, 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 of course. Can't have fun at a haunt without haunt scene. Yeah, that's the, right. That's the, right, my haunt yeah. buddy right here. Always, always. So we're very close to the start of the event, so almost time. Sliders are back. One of the best parts of Hollow Scream. Love it. Mothman. Junkyard, still love it. Always a good time. I've noticed a few new props in the zone this year too. The, some of the props from In the Shadows uh, that's not here this year is in Junkyard now, which is pretty cool. One of the new experiences for this season is Scaryoke. Uh, eventually, you'll be able to go up there and sing some sort of uh, karaoke songs. I'm gonna come back later and check this out once it's open. All right, and the replacement for Fiends, Rock the Grave. Uh, so I, I mentioned earlier, I don't know if we'll see this tonight. I guess it was just gonna depend on, I guess, where we're at in the park. However, there is only one show. So just for future reference for those of you coming, there's only one show at 11. This is officially my favorite place here. It's called the Rave Yard, and it's literally like a little rave area with dancers, music, and some drinks. Let's go check it out. It might be a little loud, so forgive me if you can't hear me, but look at this. I absolutely love this. Also, a little uh, Easter egg. All of these like mausoleum things. I forgot the name of them, I can't think of it right now, but uh, headstones, tombstones, these were in um, Deathwater Bayou. R.I.P.
I don't think you guys realize how much I love this area. Like, I'm gonna be hanging out here a lot. I also, this is exclusive, I found out. I could have just read the sign, but you know, it's exclusive to, this drink is exclusive to this area, so. Might try that later. And of course, skipping uh, the new house. Skipping which, because you know I gotta start with the Forgotten, the greatest house this event has ever had. Cannot wait to go through it again. It's got kind of like a new name, so maybe there's a new re-theme. It's the Forgotten Uprising. Very, very exciting. So, we're starting there, and I'll work our way back around. About to go through one of my favorite zones, Beyond the Veil. I already see a character that looks dope as hell. Look at this goat thing, man. I don't even know what this is. This guy looks cool. Dude, I love that costume. <laughs> um, since you're kind of extremely experienced already. <laughs> I love that they extended the zone so much. Look at this guy. That's my teeth in your hair. Dude, these actors are killing it. I can hear and smell the gasoline, which only means one thing. Chainsaws! Headed into Raven's Mill. Came out nice. Oh, yes, the windmill's back. Come on, walk past her. Oh, not you. I wasn't talking to you. Oh, come on. Some new props out. What do you want to do this? about this, Charles? Of course. You think it's a joke? <laughs> do you believe this guy slayed it? There are fighters everywhere. What are you thinking? Listen, man, we're counting on you. So I, got, I, got, I, got, I got video proof. Don't worry. 
So, a few things. One, uh, someone did scare the living shit out of me. I was not paying attention, I was distracted by the music. That is my excuse, but good job to them. Was, I, I, I feel like I knew they were there, but I just wasn't paying attention. They changed the music and I don't know how I feel about it. I loved the forgot. It's like, it's like the, kind of the same soundtrack, but it's like more techno-y now, rather than like an industrial techno, but either way, still love it. Still my favorite house. We'll see if it changes whenever we go through the new one, but I absolutely love that house. Alright, we'll see how this lens does during uh, this zone. Might have to switch it out after this. It's getting a little dark.
headed to the next uh, new scare zone. And I can tell you right now, I already love it because of the music. Even though it's loud as hell. Is that a, is that a chicken? What is that? <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, I gotta see. Are there actors in there? It doesn't look like it. Okay. You having fun? Having a great time, yeah.
It's hard to see, but uh, this is the line for residents. It goes all, I guess they wrapped it around this way due to the construction of the uh, new ride. But this is a, it's a lot of people. It goes on a long way. And a wild Johnny Bronto. <laughs> all right, now that I have some light, um, residents more the same. Uh, it doesn't really seem like anything changed too much. Uh, it's still the best version of that house. Don't know how much longer it'll be there, but still enjoyable. Um, headed towards Sin City Zombies now. Very excited to check out this one. I really have not seen much from it, so gonna go uh, walk through, get some photos, and then head towards the next house. Might do the new house. Might not. Haven't decided yet, so we'll see. So it seems like they did keep this out. And that looks like they're using it as a photo op. It's an ambassador right here. Getting ready to take photos for these people. What could have been, unfortunately. I love this guy. This guy's literally the best. Yo, this song is pretty cool. Yo, look at this. Dude, I love this. Alright, so we're not doing it last. We're doing it now. With uh, pretty much no weight. I love this facade, by the way. This is probably... And it's not because it's new. Maybe slightly because it's new. But this is probably my favorite facade that I think they've, they've had here in a while. This, this rivals Stranglewood very, very well. I love this so much. H. Bagham's Circus of Fear. I told you you'd be back. <laughs> Johnny, you're famous. I remember our name from last night. It's also on your shirt. It's also on my shirt. <laughs> Here we go.
shit. That's a great. That's a great stilt scare. Holy shit. Two things. One, I had to switch my phone because I had changed out my lens uh, for photos. And I'm too lazy to change it back. Uh, two, man, dude, that house, uh, very impressive. Uh, it's, it's just, that's crazy. It seems very long, too. Like, I don't know if it's just because it's new, but it seemed much longer than Bayou. Uh, and they did a really good job of making it seem like you're going outside. Uh, I like you go like outside in between certain scenes and stuff. Man, uh, amazing. Yeah, literally one of the best houses here. Alright, so we decided to go ahead and do the new show. Just go ahead and get it over with. It's a drum set, so it looks like it'll be live music. It's a start. That's a coffee thing for like two cups right there. Also, we have to get front row, so. Maybe I'll get some good photos, we'll see. So, Rock the Grave, all right. That's pretty cool. Not bad. Not amazing, in my opinion. And it's not Fiends, so I'm, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about yeah, it yet. I mean, it's all singing. It so. is definitely entertaining, though. I will I will give it that, so. The songs are, the songs are great. Yeah, the I- song choices are good. I would still like to see it have more than one show at 11 o'clock. Like, I don't know if I would spend, like, I don't know time waiting for just one show, you know what I mean? Like, if there's an earlier show, I feel like I would yeah. be more I mean, willing to go see it. because what if you don't know. stay till 11? Exactly, you know? yeah. You're missing out on something that is generally entertaining, but yeah. who knows? Anyways, we're gonna go walk the zones again. Uh, and then I have to do Stranglewood. I did Witch already. However, my video for that did get lost, so there won't be any walkthrough for that. Maybe I'll go through it one more time. I don't know, we'll see, but... I just gotta do Stranglewood and that's it. All right. Oh, thank you.
right. Changed my lens again, so I'm back to a good camera. So, a bit of a rough walkthrough of Stranglewood. Not because of the house, uh, because of the people in front of us. Um, but I'm done with HOS for now. It's the first vlog from HOS in like about two years, so hopefully it was enjoyable for you guys. Um, the event this year, I, I, I enjoy it. Um, I don't think I, we did talk about, man, I'm so tired. I'm tired, I'm in pain. I was gonna say, uh, the Fiend's replacement. I don't know, I'm still kind of like iffy on it. We'll see. Maybe I'll watch it again in the future and my opinions will change. Uh, the new house, DH Bagham Circus of Fear. Uh, fantastic, another great addition. Um, it's just so impressive. A lot of the set design in that house is just incredible. So definitely make sure you guys get to do it um, while you are here. Again, do it last. I mean, I didn't do it last this time, uh, but I think when I went to go do it, it was around like 11 o'clock and it was pretty pretty empty. I think the wait was only like 20 minutes um, as opposed to what it was earlier today. Uh, what else, man? I don't know, I'm so tired. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I will be back again. I don't know if I'll vlog again when I come back. I'm going to be mainly here for uh, photos and videos, all that fun stuff. Um, but if I do vlog again, I don't know, maybe I will. I don't know, there's still some stuff that I kind of want to kind of walk around and show you guys that I found out about, so we'll see. But uh, that is it for me here. I'm tired. I wish I could say I'd go home and sleep, but I'm doing this literally all over again tomorrow. At HOS Orlando, so granted by the time all you guys see this, all that will be over with, but anyways, I'm rambling. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, consider subscribing if you guys like all the Scream content you want to see more in terms of videos, um, photos. I do plan on doing some other kind of videos while I'm here, not vlogs, but consider going to YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter at unmanaged media follow me there yeah another successful uh successful haunt haunt night it's very very exhausting haunt season already and it's only two weeks in so just saying bye to johnny and them anyways again i'm rambling i'm so fucking tired guys good night take it easy until next time friends